Welcome to Software Heresy video number six. In this video, we're going to be talking about no bugs. I'm going to start with the usual warning I have. Heresy can be uncomfortable or even a bit insulting. One of my goals with this series is to push people to examine some of their beliefs. And some of these beliefs may be long held and strongly held beliefs. And when you start re-examining re -examining those sorts of beliefs, it's natural to feel uncomfortable and maybe a bit insulted or perhaps even a bit threatened. That is my goal. Please try not to take it personally and understand that I'm taking these positions to start a dialogue and to start people thinking in new ways. So this discussion is about no bugs. And by no bugs, I mean a team actually not having any active bugs. And I'm going to start with a demonstration. And this looks very much like uh, teams uh, that I managed at one time. And this is very typical of what I might see. So <coughs> here I have a team of five developers. And across those five developers, I have 43 bugs. Okay, this is, this is pretty common in many teams. So I want you to watch carefully and watch for a change. Okay, did you see the change? Okay, I now have 13 bugs assigned to me instead of 12. So you probably didn't see the change. These sort of uh, reports you might look at once every few days or maybe once every week. And the fact that, you know, our group went from 43 bugs to 44 and I went from 12 to 13, it's generally not considered to be a big deal. So let's look at a different scenario. Here we have a team called Team Marvelous, which is the name, team, team, the team name of one of the Agile teams I was on once. And Team Marvelous has zero active bugs. Okay, watch for the change. Okay. Nobody notices when a single developer gets one extra bug. Everybody notices when the team goes from zero to one active bug. So inherently, that is the philosophy behind no bugs. Is going from no bugs to one bug is a fundamentally different sort of thing than going from 42 bugs to 44 bugs or something like that. So the question is, how do you do this? And whenever I talk about this, uh, I will have people come up to me and they will talk to me in kind of hushed voices. And they'll say kind of, yeah, I love to have fewer bugs, but my group has, you know, 6,000 active bugs right now. And I always find it interesting that they're quiet because there, there are many, many groups who have that many active bugs or even far more active bugs. But it's, it's a fair question. So how do we get there? Well, the first step is you pick a definition for which the team can easily reach zero bugs. So a definition for which there is a small number of active bugs. It might be priority one issues from customers. It might be priority one issues from customers reported in the last week. Or maybe it's bug found, bugs found on new features during test. So what I'm trying to do is just pick a definition that has a small number of important bugs in it. Then we reach zero bugs on that definition and maintain it. So as far as numbers, I think initially I'm looking for something, a definition where the number of active bugs is less than 20. It has to be something where the team could reach zero relatively quickly. And maybe less than 10 is better. So now that I've reached zero bugs on that definition, I maintain it. 
I highly recommend you build something to let the team know when new bugs show up. Uh, I personally am an advocate of physical things. So in one of my teams, we had a LED display thing that hung in our team room and it would show green for bug count and green for test failures if everything was okay. And then it would show red if it didn't. I really like physical things like that, but it needs to be something that lets the team know. If you want to do email, maybe that works okay. If you want to text everybody uh, when a new bug shows up, the important thing here is the team has to know readily and often when new bugs show up. <clears throat> then we want to track how often they are at zero bugs. So if you're doing any sort of retrospective or summary stuff, um, I would track how many times we left zero bugs and I'd probably track uh, the percentage of time we were at zero bugs and track that and have that as an ongoing thing. And once the team has gotten good at this for my easy to maintain definition, then we're going to start adding new classes of bugs over time. And we can choose other ones and expand, and then that will expand our uh, area of goodness where we're at no bugs. Now, eventually, I would like to expand that area to cover all of our bugs. But there's a problem. As I said, many teams have thousands of bugs. And what I advocate doing here, this is probably one of my uh, most heretical positions that I will express. I think you should go through every bug that you honestly will never fix, mark them as won't fix, and resolve them back to your customer. I think that is the only honest thing you can actually do. Now, this is generally a huge political thing to do because it will lead to a bunch of uncomfortable discussions. But you have this serious problem. You have thousands of bugs and you actually do not know which ones are important. Some of them are not important at all. Some of them are very important. And then there are a bunch that are only kind of important. So what happens if I won't fix all the bugs that I think I'm not going to fix? Well, it's really simple. The ones that are really important either come back as new reports really quickly, or they come back from your users who say, you morons, why did you think that it's okay that this bug is here? So essentially what I'm doing is by won't fixing everything, I'm forcing a triage of all the bugs but I'm doing it in a way that's really cheap to me. And then that gets me back to the bugs I really have to fix. And it gets me to an opportunity to get to zero bugs on the bugs I really care about. And practically a way to expand out so that I have a team that is going between zero bugs and one bug rather than going between you know, 40 and 50 or 5,000 and 5,005. That is the end of this little bit of heresy. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. And I hope you'll be back for the next video.